Welcome back. Today's video is the crypto market update video. So you don't need me to tell you this, but crypto has been doing a very good job. Bitcoin is still holding 30K. Lo and behold, it needs to hold this mark for it to continue to the bullish run. I've been firmly bullish on crypto all throughout 2023. And I still believe that this is going to be a fantastic year to get some really good high quality altcoins and Bitcoin and Ethereum bull run again, thus Q4 this year, Q1 next year, calling it now because this chart just continues to look better and better. But before I get into this chart, if you'd like to send other altcoins, I review two good high quality altcoins a week. And once a week, I cover the market update video. So if you like to know that, consider subscribing. Let's get right into the video. So here we go. We've got Bitcoin against its USDT value on the Binance. And you can see bull flag formation charging up at the moment. Does this mean we're going to go to 40K? Let's slowly cool our jets a little bit. But for the time being, we're not breaking down, which is really important. And even if we break down, we've got so much support. We've got the 29K, the 28K, the 27, the 26, the 25. So much support. Every 1K below 30K is going to have significant levels of support. And what do I always say about volume on my channel volume is a really good indicator of seeing the relative strength of your crypto so you can see what are all these red volume bars on the bottom showing low volume low volume the only bar that has a high volume bar is here on the thursday this is ugly this is a very ugly candle actually right here but you have so much strength underneath it that there's so much low selling days that this was your big selling day and it only fell two percent so there's a lot of demand for bitcoin at the moment no one is selling their bitcoin that's the big key takeaway here that's why you're grinding across because you're is getting ready for the next leg up like i said the time to know when this thing is when it breaks down that past that 25k region that's when we've got the 25k the 23k but the, the trend is firmly up throughout 2023 so you should really not be having any fear going into crypto at this point i mean it's just been going up and you can clearly see it that is a clear uptrend look at that uptrend so there's no need to be fearful about bitcoin at the moment this is an uptrend start dollar cost averaging don't try to buy bitcoin when it's 26k 25k just buy it now dollar cost average and i promise you whatever price you bought out today or next week or whatever it is in two three years you will be very very happy you bought it at this price. So don't worry too much about the three, four percent cheaper in Bitcoin. It doesn't matter. It's going up. We know it's going up. If we have a look at Bitcoin dominance, uh, I haven't actually shown this chart too much on my channel, but you can see starting to find some slowdown at around that 50% dominance chart. And Bitcoin hasn't had 50% dominance or 51% dominance since basically April 2021. I mean, it's been a long time since we've had Bitcoin dominance being up this much. So Bitcoin is set to go down at some point. It's dominance that is, and that's going to be really bullish for the altcoins. It it looks like it's still going to hover around that 50 ish percent, but until we start to get some more breakouts, because we've had so much breakouts with Bitcoin's dominance lately throughout 2023, that you're just starting to see a bit of slowdown at the moment. So, again, you can see this breakout here just trickling around across for a little bit, maybe goes up a little bit more to the 52s to the 53s, but again, it shouldn't be too much higher than where it is now. If we have a look at USDT chart, so how many YouTubers out there show you a USDT dominance chart? I have never seen any YouTuber show you a USDT dominance chart. What does it show you? If USDT dominance is going up, it means money's flowing out of alt. If USDT dominance is down, it means they're flowing into alt. It's a really good chart. So this is your altcoin season. This is your altcoin time to buy. Okay. Once you start to see breakouts coming from USDT dominance, you know they're flowing out of alts and they're going into stable coins uh, to be used at a later date. And you can see it has been on a downtrend. Look at this downtrend trickling across, rejected the 50, looking really good for the alts. Now, if we have a look at Ethereum, Big Daddy ETH, you can see ETH just slowly, very edgedly and slowly like a turtle, just making its way to higher highs. I mean, look at this chart. This is a very long chart, guys. This is going from June of last year we've got a full, full 12 months of ethereum just going sideways just going sideways going up making those higher highs that's what you want higher highs there's your higher highs right here. it's an easy trend to watch guys that's what i mean you don't have to be incredibly risky you can buy some like ethereum you can see that it's been an uptrend and once crypto really starts moving okay i'll sell a bit of eth for some profit put in some alts and get some more gains but at the moment you need a chart to really tell you clearly hey this is a uptrend once you really get a good uptrend and you can confirm it with a chart then you can and that's why i prefer charts over fundamental fundamental analysis is because because fundamental analysis doesn't show you this uptrend, right? It doesn't. You can see it clearly. This is a one year uptrend. This is confidence right here. You can see clearly this is an uptrend, a very slow, high uptrend, and nothing in any other market would have given you this kind of returns. I mean, we're talking 100% return from, you know, last year to this year. So, so it's a really good crypto. Now let's have a look at some altcoins. Again, I'm going to save most of my altcoins for future videos, but these are some of the ones I've done videos on. I did Aave, I'll link it above. This is a crypto that is still looking very, very good. Had some major breakouts, but anytime there's major breakouts, Breakouts, pay attention to the pullbacks. And you can see once again with Aave, low volatility. Look, look how small these, these, these candles are, uh, or these volume bars. They're very low. These are the ones selling the Aave. So you're going to get a retracement. You're going to get a push up at some point. This is definitely going to $100. 
And I did a video on this one and I really like this one. This one has been holding around that $4 mark. Volatility is drying up on the buying and the selling, which isn't what you want to see. So just be aware a little bit of this one, but at the moment still looking strong and I still got to call it because this is another a crypto that's just been on uptrend. Look guys, this is on a daily, right? This is a clear uptrend. You can see, look, look how long this thing's been going up for. It's an uptrend. Go with the trend. The trend is your friend. These are good, solid cryptos. If we have a look at Litecoin, this is another crypto that I did a video about. Finally, we had some, some good support for this crypto. It didn't break out the breakout candle of June 30th. So that's this one here, that one, that we can't break that. $85 is really important for it not to break to show its strength, but you're seeing some good volume coming into the market now to support the price. So this is a very good candle right here. This is a really good one. So we don't want it breaking this and we don't want it breaking the $85 mark. At the moment, Litecoin looking good. And again, if it comes down from its high price, it's okay. Like, look at these. These are your pullbacks, right? And then it goes up. There's your pullback. So it's okay. It's okay to ride these pullbacks for the time being because you've got a good trend happening with Litecoin or with any crypto. At the moment, a lot of these cryptos have an uptrend. So go with the trend. So when you get the pullbacks, it really has to break down before you say, I'm just going to exit my position because you know crypto's overall moving up. So you, it's in your best interest to hold them, not using any leverage because leverage is going to wreck you more and keep you from good solid gains. But that's going to do it for this short market update video. There's not much else to say other than crypto still going up. Some really good altcoins to be had. Again, I'm going to do more videos on altcoins, but for the time being, crypto is looking up. This is a fantastic time to buy into Bitcoin, buy into Ethereum and Litecoin and Render and Injector Protocol. Those are still my favorite coins in all of crypto at the moment. Render looking a little bit weak. Actually, just before I go, I'll touch on Render a little bit. You can see how it just grinding across and you can see volume starting to really dry up, really dry up. You don't really want to see this when it just looks like there's no interest. When there's no volume coming into the market, you're probably headed down. So be a little bit careful with Render at the moment, but still this is an uptrend. So at the moment, the trend is your friend until it starts to really break those grounds. But at the moment, I'm just noticing some some low volatility that I don't want to, that I don't want to see. So you can see here, this is really good volume coming to the market. And then right around May, it starts to really get a bit quiet, which isn't what you want to see. But pay attention, this is a crypto that can roar out of the gates. Um, can already see up 2.6% and look at all these altcoins here on the right, not really going up. So pay attention to render. Uh, that could be in a really good steal at the moment, but we'll have to wait and see. But until then, everyone, I will catch you on the next altcoin review.